Today we will be doing some fundamental and technical analysis on Mara because Bitcoin has been on a tear recently, so let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. I just want to remind everyone that we just launched our channel memberships and we will be posting stock updates in there for you guys, updates on what stocks we're watching, some catalysts those stocks have coming up, and all of that. So if you guys want to join our channel membership, uh, if you're on desktop, it'll be down there and you can press join and you can see all the benefits you get and decide if you want to join our channel memberships and support us a little bit further. But if you can't do that and you still want to support us, you can also leave a like, subscribe, and a comment on the video as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And finally, if you want two free stocks and you have not made an account with Weebly yet, then go ahead and click the first link in the description and get all signed up. But without any further ado, let's get into ticker symbol M-A-R-A or Marathon Digital. So Marathon is up big and Bitcoin just recently hit $60,000. And as you guys know, Mara is a stock that actually correlates with Bitcoin's price pretty heavily. Um, you know, it's not exactly correlative to Bitcoin's price, but if Bitcoin goes from say 57,000 to 60,000, you can expect Mara to be going up that day as well. And we can just quickly look at the tear Bitcoin has been at recently. It was at about $50,000 on March 25th, which is about a week ago. And ever since then, it has been on a tear up to $60,000 it touched earlier today. And I wouldn't be surprised if when we woke up, this thing is above $60,000 and has support at $60,000. And this spike happened after hours so Mara isn't going to be seeing the effect of this big spike it had from about $58,500 to about $60,000 so I'm expecting tomorrow for Mara to open up in the green tomorrow. But let's take a look at why Marathon is trading higher as of recently. Shares of Marathon Digital Holdings gained on Wednesday following the company's announcement regarding a new Bitcoin mining pool as of 2.15 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the stock was up 10%. So obviously the stock was up a lot on Wednesday. Today's Thursday for me. It's probably Saturday for you guys, but we weren't allowed to trade on Friday. So I'll be making my videos um, a little bit ahead of time. The Motley Fool goes on to explain, Understanding how a blockchain network like Bitcoin's works can help contextualize today's news from Marathon Digital. When a transaction on the network occurs, computers have to verify it and update it on the network or the blockchain. To do this, they solve complex, complex math problems requiring substantial computing power. As a reward um, for running the network, they are paid in newly issued Bitcoin. This process is called mining. A lot of you probably didn't know how mining works before this, so that's basically a brief rundown. The Motley Fool goes on to state that by the first quarter of 2022, so basically next year at this time, or maybe even a little bit earlier, maybe nine months from now, um, Marathon Digital expects to have an individual hash rate of about 10.4 x hashes per second this is substantial for perspective the total hash rate of bitcoin blockchain network is about 166 ehs according to blockchain.com marathon digital will devote all of its individual hash rate to the mining pool therefore the hash rate of the mining pool should be even bigger though um though the exact size will be dependent on how many other miners join the company will start accepting new miners to this pool on June 1st. And as you can see, uh, Marathon has been outperforming Bitcoin and the S&P um, this year because you know they got a lot of hype at the beginning of this year and all that. So Marathon will be accepting new miners on June 1st and I don't think there will be close to a shortage of people wanting to do this mining work as Bitcoin is obviously a huge thing this year. It's honestly one of the most popular things to come out of 2021. So I'm assuming a lot of new miners will be um, joining this and they won't have any problems filling up you know this group and then the Motley Fool goes on to explain how this affects it Marathon Digital stock has given investors the, one of the greatest one-year returns that I've ever seen uh, says the author part of this makes sense given Bitcoin's impressive run the company both uh, mines Bitcoin and holds about 5,000 Bitcoins so that's why Marathon actually you know moves a lot with the price of Bitcoin because they have a lot of exposure to Bitcoin so if Bitcoin goes from $50,000 to Sixty thousand dollars. That's going to be ten thousand dollars. Uh, ten thousand times five thousand. That's going to be how much they gain in value. Um, so that's a huge, like that's huge. Um, 
But that said, with a market capitalization of 4.8 billion at this time of writing, it's valued 1,100 times um, 2020 revenue, which is a hefty price tag for any company regardless of this industry. Um, something I have to say to that though is that they're holding a lot of Bitcoin and I don't know if that's um, factored into their revenue, I wouldn't assume so. Um, so the fact of the matter is, is that while they are valued a lot over their um, uh, their revenue for the year, they do have a lot of Bitcoin which has gone up substantially in price since like January or February. So, you know, that's, that's where I'd have to say, you know, they have gone up in value. Um, even if it's not with their revenue per se. Therefore, although investors are celebrating the news of this mining pool today, shareholders should recognize digital Marathon Digital stock has an acute valuation risk going forward. It doesn't mean the company can't overcome this risk, but the shareholders should be aware nonetheless. Uh, nonetheless. I agree there is a risk to Marathon Digital and they have a lot of holding in these Bitcoins that they have. But at the end of the day, I'm bullish on Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin's going to 100,000 by the end of the year. Um, but at, you know, there is risk to it. So if you are a Mara, Mara investor, just know that there's a lot of risk to the stock. That means there's a lot of reward to be had, but it has already ran 9,000%. 9, 9, so that's something to think about when investing in this stock. And then I also found another article that gives a quote from someone else and I thought that the quote was really good, so let's go over it. The geopolitical value of moving mining pools to North America cannot be understated. Bitcoin is now no different than un any other strategic or rare earth commodity. In fact, given the number of businesses now leveraging the potential and promise of Bitcoin, both for distributed ledger benefits and as a reserve, and hedge against inflation points to Bitcoin being with few peers and how important it is for long-term US interest. With the work of the Future Digital Currency Initiative at Stanford, the team here believes that this infrastructure will help further decentralize Bitcoin and secure the fidelity of the network in both short and long term. Stated Atticus Franken, co-founder and senior fellow, Future Digital Currency Initiative at Standard University. So I definitely agree with this Standard University fellow. Um, you know. This is going to decentralize Bitcoin further and basically reward people for mining Bitcoin, which is something I think is very smart. And the fact of the matter is, people are using Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation. Would you rather your money be sitting in a bank account, just cash, sitting there losing money to inflation, or do you want your money to go up? But there is an inherent risk with Bitcoin as well, and that's why, you know, do you want the higher returns with the risk of losing some money, or do you want to just have your cash sit there? That's something you have to think about when you're thinking about investing, and should I just invest it in a Vanguard index fund? These are all things that you should be thinking about. But now before we get going, let's go over some technical analysis on Mara. Obviously, if we zoom out, um, Mara goes through these peaks and valleys where it can go from $35 to about $45 in a matter of a couple you know, days. Um, so just remember when investing in this, if you're investing in the $40 to $50 area, this thing can return to $30 like it did um, back on March 25th. Um, but then it can go right back up to $52, um, just like a week later. So you just have to think, you know, do I want to be investing in an asset that goes up and down so, you know, crazily, or do I want to be investing in something maybe more uh, stable, like a space, a Palantir? Um, these are all things you're gonna, gonna want to look out for. As for support for today, I only like to draw support for Mara um, on a like daily basis, not really over anything else. But um, what we're looking for is Mara to, to stay above the $47 level. Um, and we want to see them break the $52 level come uh, Monday when we can trade again. Um, so, and after hours it is up to $49. And Bitcoin is at $60,000 and that was after hour um, after hours. So if Bitcoin can stay above $60,000 this weekend and maybe even go a little bit higher, we can definitely see Mara hit the $55, um, $56 level um, in my opinion. If Bitcoin goes back down to the 56, 57,000 area this weekend, we can see um, Mara trading all the way back down at like the 42 levels. Um, so just think about, you know, when you're investing in Mara, just think about how, where Bitcoin's price is on the weekend and whether or not you want to be building a position on Monday or not. 
Um, but yeah, basically I'm looking for this to break $52. If Bitcoin's price is uh, doing well, I'm looking for it to go below $47 if Bitcoin's price is doing bad. Um, but that's it for my technical analysis. As for my overall thoughts on Mara, I really like this stock long term, even though it's already ran like 9,000% this year. Um, I do love this stock long term. The news that we just got about Mara is also very good for the stock's price. Um, you know, you're gonna have to hold this through the peaks and valleys. It can go from four, uh, $50 to $30 in the matter of a week. Um, so if you're not willing to hold an asset that moves that much, then I would stay away from Mara. But if you do want to hold it for the long term, I think this does have 2x potential. Um, but that's going to be it for my overall thoughts. Remember guys, I'm not a financial advisor and that this is not financial advice. Uh, if you guys do want financial advice, make sure that you seek help from a professional financial advisor and don't take advice from someone you met on the internet five minutes ago. But if you are interested in buying Mara and you have not made an account with Weebly yet, what are you doing? You got to get in the pre-market and after hours with us. All you gotta do is make an account, deposit $100, and you can get two free stocks worth up to $1,850. And now for comment of the day. Y'all comment, and I'll pick one of your comments for comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is gonna come to Elvis Diaz, and he said, how many shares you got, bro? I'm 220 deep at $7.22. Um, see guys, we cannot um, actually discuss how many shares um, we have and at what price because of SEC regulations. Um, I know a lot of other YouTubers do it, um, but we are actually not allowed to say specific numbers uh, because the SEC could you know, see that as a form of manipulation. So we don't want to begin into any of that. We basically just report and cover on the news of stocks. So um, yeah, sorry that we can't tell you that number, but you know, it's what we have to do to, you know, keep ourselves covered and make sure that we're not manipulating anything as well. But that's going to be it for today. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it shows we're doing something right here. But my name is Zach and I'll see you in the next video.